One of the most recurring ladies in Indian art is the lady holding a mirror, identified quite literally as the Darpandharini. Almost always a part of reliefs in temples and stupas, the Darpandharini is usually carved as a railing or a pillar relief in Buddhist, Jain and Hindu temples. A woman usually standing in Tribhanga Mudra, a threefold pose consisting bends in the body at the waist, knees and neck represent the Darpandharini sculpture. Shown holding a handheld or box mirror, the figure always points to its head or appears to be quaffing its hair. Although these may be defined as general features, there are generally several variations in what the figures seem to be adjusting or correcting in the mirror. In terms of depiction and iconography, the Darpandharani seems to be a close parallel to the Egyptian karyatid mirrors that show the mirror handles as female figurines. These were soon adapted into Etruscan mirrors and eventually percolated into Greco-Roman art where the lady with the mirror became a recurring motif in vases. Seeing that the Darpandharani figurines first appeared in Indian art through Gandhara school reliefs, which in turn were a product of Indo-Hellenistic interfusion, it is very likely that the Darpandharani is a part of a minor, lesser known ancient cult, which is how several historians describe secular sculptures in ancient art. Although no tales or mythic origins are associated with the Darpandharani in Indian art, the figurine is usually defined as a Yakshi or Yakshini by most scholars and in museum provenances. However, the medieval text Shilpa Prakash, a tantric treatise, gives the first textual description of Darpandharani as a Sura Sundari and describes the figurine as a symbol of feminine cosmic energy, a concept that was essential to Tantrism. Thus, very likely a borrowed concept in iconography, the Darpandharani is probably a product of artistic influence of the Greeks in Indian art, but the true identification is marred by faulty understanding and misinterpretation owing to her absence in primary texts of iconometry, iconography and sculptural arts of ancient India.